hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be sharing with us how i made this of father's stew if you haven't subscribed to this channel do so quickly so you don't miss out on all the amazing and mind-blowing recipes we'll be sharing here i bet you want to see how i prepare this food let's get started we are going to heat up a pan and add in some palm oil in it and we're going to bleach this palm oil Once we're done bleaching the oil, we're going to set it apart and let it cool. We go on and get some pepper. We have here our red bell pepper, otherwise known as ayemashe or tatashe. We also have our scotch bonnet pepper. We have our red chili pepper. In making this sauce, you don't need tomatoes. So all you need is pepper throughout. So we're going to put all this pepper after washing it and removing the seeds. We we'll put it in our food processor and we're going to roughly blend them. We don't need to blend it finely because it is a father stew. So you can see how I roughly blended this pepper. Next, we are going to get our meat or fowls or rather cow or fowls. Then we we'll go on and wash it, season and cook it. After cooking it, we are going to go on and fry it in our bleached palm oil. After frying it, then we'll go on and take it out from the oil. It's necessary to fry it in this palm oil to give it that palm oil flavor. Very necessary for a father stew. After frying it, we get it out of the oil and we go on and cut them into tiny chunks. Next, we are going to be adding our iru into this oil. We are going to fry our iru for some time so that the flavor comes out well. Next, we'll include our onions. We'll fry our onions and then we bring in our pepper mix. We stir it and let it fry for some time. At this point, we're going to be adding our salt. We're going to season it. So we're going to include um, our crushed bouillon cube. We don't need curry or time in this stew this is a father stew no curry needed no thyme needed so we are going to add our crushed bouillon and we also bring in our crayfish powder we are going to be adding lots of crayfish here so you can see we've added crayfish we need lots of crayfish then we'll bring in our chopped meat we'll add them all into the stew you can see our father's stew is getting ready or almost ready so at this point you check on your salt and be sure it is proportional our father's stew cannot be complete without boiled eggs so we're going to bring in our boiled eggs we're going to puncture it with our fork and then we're going to add it into the stew. The reason why we need to puncture it is to let the stew be absorbed into the egg. Even though it's not going to be completely absorbed, but let it just get that feel. So this is it. Our ofada stew is almost ready. So we're just going to let this um, cook for some time. We'll let the egg cook in the stew for some time. And also let all our ingredients be properly cooked. We'll stir it, give it a good mix, and that's it. You have here, I present to you, your Ofada stew. I hope you get to try this at home. So we we'll go on and serve our Ofada stew. You can use your Ofada rice to eat it. This is what I have at home. So I hope this video was helpful. Were you finding it difficult? Were you finding it confusing to prepare your father stew? Did this video solve the problem? Did this video help you to know how to make it? Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share this video, share with your friends. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you sometime and in our next video. Bye! and see you next time.